Stadium. And uh, it's really building up well here. Whitey, Whitey. Rambini for Fiji. And uh, Tolia Fur there trying to break out of the scrum pretty early, but it's uh, well picked up there by Satala. And Fiji on the attack now. Spinning it back in field. They're passing. It goes like a bullet. And they're so accurate as well. And Sarevi's found a gap. Nobody's going to catch him. He's done that so, so often. Been a little bit quiet in the knockout stages of the tournament so far, but uh, with bursts like that, you can never discount the danger of this fella. Well, in those close games, maybe it's Sariri that's going to be the difference because uh, maybe De La Salle has watched closely. Samaro have just got to stay patient. The gaps may well come, but first of all, they need possession, and that's always difficult against Fiji. And they got possession back again after a, a drop pass. That's from Silosi. Swung away by Tolia Foa. Sam Gibbons. Little chip through. Gibbons uh, not obstructed, but it could be a try. Yes, it is. Well, well. Fatau came in from that right wing. The little kick there by Sam Gibbons, and uh, Gibbons himself was impeded, but Fatau came storming through and swept up that ball. Seven points all in this first semi final of the cup competition. Two of the best teams in the world, and immediately Samoa are on the attack once again. Matangi Tower it is a tower of strength for Samoa, but uh, Fiji stole it in that ruck. Now then, closed down once again was Satala. One against one. Oh, that was a terrible missed tackle there. Satala once again back inside and that is uh, Samai Sui and this is going to be an easy try for Satala in the end a great combination of passing there almost like a basketball game for the Fijians and they hit back immediately to go 12 points to 7 in the lead well all the glamour players we're talking about here Paul Serebi, De La Salle and company all the glamour try scorers didn't feature in this one Lovely play by the big Satala. You know, his brother played in the Rugby World Cup and he's playing in France at the moment with Serevi. And they sewed the Samoans up there and it was Apollosa Satala who scored the try. A little toe punt for Serevi and that means that at halftime the score is 14 points to 7, Fiji in the lead. Peter Marshall, the referee, gets play underway. Serevi kicks deep. That's going to Sam Gibbons. Gibbons a very, very fast, nippy player indeed. We haven't seen a lot of him in the uh, first half, but uh, he certainly helped score Samoa's first and only try. Oh, and a speculative kick ahead there. This could be dangerous. Is that Della Sao? Yes, it is, but uh, out of the back of the in-goal area. Knock on and goal. De La Salle didn't quite get that one down. A lot of pressure on him. Just a word here, Paul. I always think that uh, Sarevi, if he's got his collar tucked in and he's wearing his white boots, that shows he's been some kind of business. He's in the mood. So Samuelo it is who's throwing in. Big jump coming in, or one-handed there, Satala. Sarevi. And that was good play, good interplay by the Fijians. Rambini. Quiet. Just on the halfway line by Samoa. Perhaps. Oh, they've got a chance. I was going to say, De La Salle is going to come away with it, but there surely is going to be a score. Samania is going to score in the corner. <laughs> Peter Marshall a little bit late with the whistle, but the try is given. And now Samoa are just two points behind. Critical moment in the game now coming up with a conversion attempt. But here is Ilawa Samania. Here's Alec uh, Tolifoa. Oh, he pulled that. That was a low drive, wasn't it? Across the front of the post there. Now then, a little bit of support there. Sarevi looping round, and as so often, trying to go through at the tiniest of gaps. De La Salle left uh, footed, but straight into uh, Samoan hands there. And De La Salle not looking terribly comfortable out there. He's being uh, closed down almost every time he gets the ball very quickly by the Samoan defence. Samani nearly had it in his grasp. 
The scrum down just outside Fiji's 22. Lambini looking for the ball at the back of the scrum. It's a little bit untidy. Sarevi. That's a huge kick, and it's being chased by Sam Gibbons. I think that kick's a compliment to Samoa. Oh, a bounce! And away goes Kamaya. A cruel bounce for Samoa's hopes. This is a seven-pointer. The kick by Sarevi, I reckon, was a compliment to the pressure that PG was feeling from Samoa. But way downfield, the bounce hopped up off the soft grass, and it was Timothy Kamaya who galloped away. Just coming up to the five and a half minute mark in this second half, and uh, it's been very, very tight all the way. But certainly that last try by Fiji made a big difference to the prospects of Samoa progressing through to the final. Samania, he scored uh, Samoa's last try, a little uh, knock on there by Fatatau. So we'll have to come back for the scrum. And now Fiji looking as though they're taking a bit more control. 21 to 12 lead, seconds only remaining. Plenty of shots of the various pr promotions going on around the ground. This is uh, Argentinian style. Some very tired men out there. The guy with the ball under his arm is uh, Rambini. It's come half for Fiji. Just the number eight there, Senio. Or Samoa coming into the picture, standing very close. And now having to defend. Big long pass. Out to Delasau. Delasau goes inside. Oh, fabulous stuff from Delasau. That's more like it. Oh, he almost didn't make it. Almost ran out of the in goal area. But that was fabulous stuff from Delasau. And what we've come to expect from this man who's now scored over 50 tries in the four tournaments we've had. But I think the fact that he got it down ball is another example of the tremendous balance that he's got. He was tottering towards the dead ball uh, area there, but he still had time to twist and cavort his body and put it down. And with this run that you're seeing now, and the sidestep and the brilliance of number eight, De La Salle, you're seeing the confirmation that Fiji are through to yet another final as he just gets it down. New Zealand team out of shot have lined up right across the field with one man drop back to the kind of a fullback position here they come forward six of them come forward one stays back in a kind of a goalkeeper's role at the 22 back foot back foot Matt Dunn Richard Graham and here's it the brother Dunn and over halfway goes little Donnelly this is good from Australia Graham Floats a pass, is the referee calling it forward? No, he's not. And Miller got across from one corner to the others, and the Australians have scored a great try. Great start, Australia. Ball in hand. That is the best try I've seen them score against quality opposition on this Grand Prix circuit. So maybe this is a sign of things to come. They are the underdogs here, the Aussies, but they're playing like favourites at the moment. Ball in hand. Donnelly knew that he had the speedster. Miller, unmarked outside. He slides across for a fair try, and Australia are leading. Well, a lot of good Kiwis might be saying uh, that was a forward pass, but uh, the try is awarded. It's down there. It is let on the go, scoreboard. Let it go. Let it go. Back to Read it in the Sydney through. Morning Herald. Five to nil. Australia leads. And for New Zealand's young team, it's a matter of keeping composure here but they really haven't had a breakthrough in the first three and a half minutes of the half and it's critical now play on says the referee here to goldie out to bulliana over halfway and here's the young star of new zealand mills bulliana he's made a break and it's going to be a try gives it into monaghan at the last minute because he feared miller coming across but the try is down under the post new zealand strike back class act isn't it this new zealand side the size or the side of a champion team they can hit back immediately they drew the defense in and then they had the numbers out wide Muliana had plenty of work to do this wrong-footed Matt Isaac Jack Isaac couldn't hold on and as Miller came across he knew that it was Monaghan who could score between the sticks and Monaghan has converted so New Zealand in front seven to five what a match halfway mark that's where the scrum will pack down 
a breather for these players. It's been helter-skelter so far, and rightly so. Spot in the final up for grabs. Of course, the team that wins here picks up 20 valuable points on the Grand Prix circuit. Now away to the side, we see the Samoan team. They're going to do their Manu Samoa for the crowd while the game is going on. But here is the New Zealand and Australian teams in full concentration. Numbers. Mon Monaghan. De Goldie. Muliano. Craig De Goldie. You'll hear a cheer go up as the uh, Samoans finish their award. Chant in a second. Meantime, the action hots up with Wilson. Great try. And the difference between the two sides, pretty obvious in that passage of play leading up to the try. They are bigger, they are stronger, more vigorous than New Zealanders. They draw in the defenders, and then they have the overlap, overlap out wide and give this man a sniff. He'll take the five-pointers. Don't worry about that. Wilson in his sixth try for the tournament. The Kiwis' leading try scorer here at Mardell Plata. Monaghan. The flags go up. And now that's more comfortable for New Zealand. Justin Wilson from the Waikiki Club in Rotorua in New Zealand. That's in the Bay of Plenty. He's just the youngster himself. Early days, I know, Keith, but uh, what's very obvious is the fact that the New, New Zealanders are going to be too powerful and too fast with ball in hand. The Australians need to dominate possession. They need to hold on to it. They've got it this time from the restart. Donnelly lacks a bit of size, but he shows real skill. Aussie captain Jack Isaac. Flipping it out wide to Miller, the speedster who's lost it. There is Monaghan, taken by... Gone. Graham has got the break, but the whistle has gone. Halftime now comes with New Zealand Halftime. leading by 14 to 5. Two tries to one, playing for a place in the grand final against Fiji. Second half underway. Australia kicking off, and uh, it's been... Out on the fall is the ruling. For a moment, it looked like John Rowe may have been able to keep it in the field of play. So an early mistake by the Australians, not the start they wanted. And New Zealand through Eric Rush. will come up and take this tap restart. Line out to the left and to the right. He hands it off to Muliana. And now Kaltanana into space and plenty of numbers out wide Tanana he'll give it out now to Monaghan chased from behind by Jack Isaac he can't get there what a start to the second half New Zealand and so it is Tony Monaghan one of the stars at this tournament here last year on the score sheet with a five pointer he will try and convert and all of a sudden 19 points to five maybe that has broken the spirit of the Aussies the thing about Tanana is he quite often finds the angle to run for the corner he's not necessarily one who speeds down the field and heads for the post he finds the angle for the corner and then brings it in and that was a worthwhile run by him then he passed it off to Monaghan Monaghan's a left foot drop kick exponent let's see how he goes here are up again so they're into the 20s 21 points to five now a real test for the Aussies now can they dig deep can they contain this score line or will the New Zealanders really run away with it maybe they'll be prepared to keep a few reserves in the tank so this is to Goldie Wrapped up there by let Isaac. Go, let it go, let it go. Quality possession again for New Zealand. Monaghan. Out to Wilson. Tanana. A sprint race for the corner. Tanana on the flyer. And that's Peter Miller, but he couldn't get across there. So all of a sudden, they've really opened it up. 26 points to five. Carl Tanana, he was the star for New Zealand as far as try scoring went in Uruguay. Only his uh, second or third try this time round. 
Well, this is what I mentioned before. It's an old winger's adage. Pin your ears back and head for the corner, and that's what he did. And he does it well. Doesn't mind finding the angle and belting it for the corner. Tanana. This is to Goldie. And now going, who's on there? He throws the dummy. Going through the gap. Going throws it out to Newby. He's caught from behind. He pops it up forward to Goldie. To Goldie. He needs to pop it up. It's now being picked up by John Rose. A chance of a counter-attack, and Matt Isaac fires it over the top. Now this is Peter Miller. The New Zealand defence regroups. Eric Rush over on the far side. And also to Goldie. They wrap up Rod Seib. Bring the ball. Craig Hudson Straight is on. The, the young John Canterbury. Straight down player. in the middle. Well, we don't see that often in sevens, being penalised for not uh, putting it in straight. Now it's Australia through side and Miller. Good defence by New Zealand. Plenty of black jerseys over there to wrap him up. Advantage with Australia here, but they're inside their own 22. Pickthall to, to Tamarua. Hands it back to Pickthall. Intercept. Newby, back to Hudson, trying to free it. Here we go. Harmy wants it. And that is it. It's all over in the semi-final. So New Zealand, after leading 14 to 5 at halftime, have beaten Australia 26 points to 5. New Zealand through to the final of the main competition where they will meet their old rivals, Fiji, and what a match that will be. 26-5, New Zealand over Australia. Footwear, our low, low prices will bring you in for the new year. Go back to school in style. Check out the new styles at the lowest prices. The school sandals ready for action. And in January, shop for free when you bring your Yoji Millennium stamps and use them like cash. At Yoji's Footwear, our prices will make you dance. the final of the Gold Cup for the International Rugby Board's seventh circuit here in Argentina. It's Fiji against New Zealand. The same finalists from the previous three circuit events. And here is Philemoni de La Salle with 53 tries to his credit in three and three-quarter tournaments so far. Can he score by tries ahead of New Zealand in this final we're about to see? The music is pumping around the stadium because the Argentinian team is doing a circuit of victory, having won the plate just a moment ago. And with the Spanish team winning, having won the bowl, there's been some popular victories tonight for the Argentinian people. But now, they'll settle down and watch what should be an epic final. And the referee is Argentinian Pedro de Luca. So it's not Peter Marshall, the invited international referee from Australia. It's a local Argentinian referee, so that's a nice compliment to De Luca. As the final is underway, remember, 10 minutes each way for the Gold Cup. 
and Tony Monaghan begins in the black jerseys of New Zealand, led by Eric Rush with the ball now, and the opponents once again, Fiji, captain by Waisali Sarevi. It's going to be interesting, Keith, to see just who this crowd here, this huge crowd, get behind. They will obviously support the general play here. Two champion teams, but there's a turnover now to Fiji. Sarevi in the middle of the field. That looked like it might have been a forward pass, but it's gone again to Sarah Rembrini over halfway. Tipped ahead off the fingers of Silosi Naitenge. And you see number one, Apolosi Satala there. He is a vital man for the Fijians, as in the foreground, the boomers come around, but not forward by Silosi. And it's the first scoring chance for Fiji goes begging. Questions on both of those passes down the short side, but in the end, there's an old vale for the Fijians now. New Zealand inside the road, 22 through Wilson. Great step. Great step by Wilson and a good chase by Silosi. Tanana comes to the midfield, gets it away to Eric Rush. He gets inside for Laboni de la Salle. Monaghan now. Tanana, and it's the first try for New Zealand to Carl Tanana. One of the stars of the world circuit, Tenana. We rave about Filimoni Delisau and the Fijian team, but this man certainly knows the way to the try line as well. One of the best support players in the seventh circuit at the moment. And he can set up a try as well. Monaghan, he's been a real stayer in this New Zealand team. Great support from Carl Tenana. Three tries for the tournament for Carl. A very important one for his team. They lead five points to nil. New Zealand over Fiji. Well, that was the thing about the previous final in Punta del Este a week ago. New Zealand got away to a great start and wound up pummeling the Fijians by 42 to 14. So they've done it again with the expert boot of Monaghan making it a seven-pointer. That's a good beginning, seven to nil. But we know the Fijians are capable of striking back. Another look at Carl Tanana there. No Fijian in sight, and that is quite rare because they usually do scramble pretty well on defence. They were caught short on that occasion, so the restart coming up from Monaghan. Tremendous night's entertainment here at Mar del Plata. Easy the best promotion of the Seven Circuit. Tremendous crowd in, must be approaching 30,000. And we've had laser beams and fireworks, and here's some more fireworks from De La Salle, but well chased by Monaghan. Tanana is back, De La Salle closing quickly. Well, he gave up the chase a bit. Mills Muliana, this young lad from Kelston Boys High just uh, 18 months ago in Auckland, New Zealand. And now Craig Newby, where they throw away pass to Wilson, the crowd applauding. They know good stuff when they see it. That's confidence and teamwork. All New Zealand at this stage. Wilson threatening every time he touches the ball. Eric Rush leading the charge in tight. This is Wilson. They bottled him up on that occasion, but he's one of the danger men in the black jersey. Tap for New Zealand from Eric Rush. Coming up to four minutes gone. Wide out again to Wilson. To Rush, going for the corner. And was he out? He was out. And out. In the process of scoring. He's hit the corner flag. That's a blow yeah, for New Zealand. Just ran out of room over on the far side. Eric Rush, another look at it here. Wilson well and truly bottled up. Rush driving and into touch. I think it's a good call by the touch judge on the far go, side. Boys. And that's the first time we've seen Waisali Sarebi in the action with a try-saving tackle. That's him standing at the back. Look at this one. Sarebi and Rush, the two most powerful personalities of experience in the sevens game. And here is De La Salle from behind his own goal line. This is risky play. New Zealand have closed them about down, but soccer kicked away. And referee De Luca says hands in there off the floor and here is a royal chance for New Zealand to add to their total Rush might have a go for it to Wilson just knocked away by Wilson that's two tries that have gone begging the pressure is white hot on the Fijians 
Great defence there by Fiji, though. Rush had them in two minds. In the end, offloaded to Wilson. Just couldn't slam the ball down. Slam dunk style, but he lost control of it. Monaghan, try for Tony Monaghan. It's all New Zealand. Seru Rambeni, slow at the back, the three-man front row scrum, and Tony Monaghan dives through. Well taken try. Like a thief in the night, wasn't he, Tony Monaghan? It was lying loose. He picked it up and slammed it down. 12-0 with the kick to come from Monaghan. That's his fifth try here at Mar El Plata. Another look at it here. Fiji were entitled to clean that ball up, but Monaghan beat them to the ball. The referee just moving the Fijian trainers out of the line of sight for Monaghan as he tries to add the extra two. They're all vital here. The points, not a bad attempt. It's swinging around. The radar is working for Monaghan. It's 14 points to nil. This New Zealand side. And they might be in black jumpers, but they are white hot, Keith, aren't they? A tremendous beginning. The music is pumping. Football stadium which was built for the World Soccer Cup in 1978. And it's fast and fierce action from New Zealand to get that lead three quarters of the way through the first half. A high jump by Satala. He's good at the catch, but that one deflected away and it finds the touch line. Fiji simply cannot get in this game yet. Starved of possession pinned down inside their own territory we don't see that often in world sevens normally they can dictate terms but this is such a well-drilled new zealand team under the coaching of gordon titchens the leadership of eric rush the veteran here he is throwing it into the lineup looking for craig the goldie precision throwing again from the new zealanders mills muliana justin wilson and there is all bad luck there for BG, but uh, Kamaya couldn't quite get his hands on it, and so it rolled away. Now we know him to be a speedster, he can really fly. Penny, the coach of the Fijians, with a concerned look on his face. He would dearly love to head to Wellington, Fiji, and Brisbane, the next three stops on the circuit, with a win here and have it all locked up. The bounce is good this time, though, for Kamaya. And the flying X rugby league player is in under the post. So Fiji come bouncing back with a try that will be worth seven when Serevi steps up and pipes it through for sure. Seven tries for Tamisia Kamaya. An opportunist try at the end. The bounce was good for him. And this is where they can really make the opposition pay. In the loose. Serevi adds the extra two, no problem there, so it is 14 points to seven. And there's uh, to the left, Epi Langilo, Epeli Langilo, and to the right, Belly Vandraki. Thoughtful looks, but 14 to nil look good, 14 to seven. Looks a bit rocky all of a sudden for New Zealand. Serevi kicks it deep. It's bounced, and Monaghan watches it. So Ribby has not judged it very well. They'll go back to halfway for a free kick to New Zealand. Well, I'd love to have 10 pesos for every time Serevi has restarted in the game of sevens, and that's the worst I've seen from him. Completely misjudged that one. A champion. And nobody's perfect. Eric Rush. With his team going left and right. Makes a little signal that it'll go right. But it was just a, a feint. And he's... Taken on Silosi for the tackle. Here is Newby for New Zealand to Wilson. And an intercept here by Silosi. Satala. Silosi again. De Goldi. Tremendous struggle in there. No, no, no. Silosi number four. Wilson. What a pass off the floor that was to clear it. But lost forward. And it's going to be. BG put in, coming towards the end of the first yeah. half, 14 to 7, New Zealand leading. He was playing the advantage for New Zealand. And Senor De Luca decided 
they'd had enough advantage and then the knock-on came so an opportunity here for Fiji and the New Zealanders will really have to be on guard here they cannot relax just prior to the break seven points the difference so Remy the big ball to see what the great the referees called that one forward oh he'll get a roasting for that one he's a local lad the referee well that one didn't look forward to me and I thought we were going to see the wheels start to turn out on the right. A bit of relief on the New Zealand bench, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. Steady. Steady. So Fiji denied a chance right on half time. Monaghan to the left, where Wilson has a very big pass, but he doesn't use it this time to bring it to the centre to clear space. A rush. See these lovely spin passes. That one's a bit of a dropping pass. Well picked up by Tanana. Flying hair in the night sky. Can he get through? He's got Muliana with him. Good handoff from Rush to Tanana to De Goldie. Monaghan. The passes are sticking. No, no. And no, another pass comes this time from Newby to Tanana on the other wing. It gets away from Wilson. Good backing up from Craig Newby. And Kamaya went in hard and made a good stop, a try-saving stop. Two tries to one, New Zealand lead at the break, a couple of chances missed. Fiji came back, it's a close one. Here in the final of the Mugdale Butter Sevens, it's tough all the way. And at the break, New Zealand lead by 14 to 7. Ready? Well, Joe Barker, a very interesting player. He's the only player here who's a double international being a former Fijian soccer international and he switched to rugby union and he's here three years in soccer move and, it, move uh, it, move full international status for Fiji in that game as well that's him number seven this is good for Fiji early in the second half. Penalty inside New Zealand territory. Philomone Delisau is on the right wing. Serevi flat footed. Yes, where is Serevi? We asked early in the second half. If Fiji are going to make the strike, they'll look to their little master to see if he can produce something. But here is the man himself. Did he get it down? Yes, he did. Satala it is who scored it. The big tall man who sat out play on the first day, but is such a vital man for them. And it's Apollosa Satata, Satala who gets it. Good strong run, rush, desperate defense, just couldn't rein him in. And so 14 points to 12 with the kick to come from Serevi. Serevi started the movement flat footed. Dummy to the right. A jink, and then he had the support on the outside. He's no, he got it. Well, we're all locked up here at 14 all. Tremendous run here by Apelosis Satala. Look, he just nearly lost it, but regained it on the dive down. And that's good enough for seven for Fiji. So, early in the second half. Muliana for New Zealand. Nice footwork. Brushes off. Serevi. Batu is there. Wilson now Monaghan. Newby. This is good defence by Fiji. If they close New Zealand down. Here's Wilson. Big hit on him. Okay, reasonable. Fiji have warmed up here now. Okay, just play. Now. De Goldie, Rush, Muliana into the gap, Tanana a little bit of space, there's his familiar running style against the run of play, zooming across field at an angle, that's what he's good at, and now he has the pass away, bit of a tussle in midfield, Muliana not too happy with some treatment he received there from one of the Fijians as the bench looks on anxiously. 
touch judge coming on. Newby go da going down there. Remember there was a... Captain, please! Two captains being called out, or one captain? Pachi. Yes, I know. Punch. Next time, stand up. What, what you okay? Do? I don't know. Just play. Wait. The referee's given some good advice. Next punch off. Just play. And in the white-hot competition here, and there's uh, Sarevi just making a little gesture across at Eric Rush saying, yep, fair enough, let's keep playing. That's good to see. These guys play against each other all over the world. And this circuit, they travel together, they stay in the same hotels, they know each other well. Yes, I know. But it's tremendous competition at this level in this final. This Samuel Samashui rolls it out to his captain. Out now to De La Salle. Wilson chases, catches him by the coattails, gives him a twirl. And so that's the kind of defence that will save the, the hour for New Zealand if they can keep it up. 14 all. Great work by Justin Wilson. Holding on grimly. De La Salle backing himself, trying to get on the outside. He didn't have much to play with out there, Wilson. Just enough to grab hold of him and throw him into touch. I will, I, I think. 14 all. Who'll Open be the, the first line. to crack Bending now? Up, boys. Number three. Certainly a lot closer than the one-sided final we saw at the last stop on the World Series. That was at Punta del Este in Uruguay. That was won comfortably by an awesome New Zealand performance. But remember the one at Stellenbosch. One 12 10 by Fiji. A close contest. Rush himself is through. Caught by number four, Siloshi Naitenge from behind. Change for New Zealand. This is interesting. Damien Corona is coming on for New Zealand. Approach. Engage. Steady. Steady. Now he's been out with an Achilles uh, injury Play. and he's suddenly bounced back into the action. So going to the sideline is Muliana and Corona is in to play. Let's see how that affects things. Wilson now with the ball near halfway, just on New Zealand's side. Newby going in hard. Yo, release the ball. Newby penalised, or was it Wilson penalised underneath? Moliana is still on the sideline, Keith. I think he might be ready to make a, a presence again, make his presence felt again. Probably just uh, some running repairs on the sideline. So eight goes back on. So Mills Moliana on there again. And so the number four will come off for New Zealand, Damien Corona. Um, Moliana is now a vital member of the New Zealand team. Former New Zealand secondary schools rep. Might have been just a little bit of blood there around the mouth. Samasui. At to Sarevi. Fiji have the field position. They have De La Salle. He kicks through. Rush comes across. The bounce is a 50-51. Referee doesn't play any advantage at all. He gives it straight to Fiji for the scrum. New Zealand has never lost in a tournament in South America. A win to Fiji would mean they go to the top equal with New Zealand on the International Rugby Board Sevens circuit. But it's 14 all at the moment. And the calls by the referee just going against New Zealand at the moment. Pedro De Luca from Argentina, the referee. Kicked through by Seru Rambeni. And another penalty for Fiji. So the run of play is favouring the uh, to Fiji and team from the Argentinian referee. Here is Rambeni again. This time, fr free to... Sarevi. Sarevi. Sarevi magic. Might swing the final Fiji's way. 
Well, he had a line up out to the left. I think the New Zealanders were expecting the long pass to the left, but you cannot give this man any time whatsoever. There's the step. And again, the hole opened up. Nobody in front of him. VG, 21 points to 14 in front for the first time. Miles the same look from Penny. The kick is over, and that's a tremendous second half from Fiji. Two converted tries, and the time is running out for New Zealand now. 21 to 14, Fiji lead. And it was Sarevi, a wonderful break. Just a short one gets him through to take Fiji into the lead. 21 to 14. A minute to play in the final. Mardel Plata. Wilson away to rush. Can the New Zealand captain produce some leadership magic in the last moments? Good work by Joe Batu. Rush again. New Zealand, though, back in their own half. Can they get a break? Wilson. Tremendous tackling by Fiji. Rush. Craig de Goldie. Goes hard at the tackle to try to create the uh, overlap. Well, another penalty against New Zealand. The referee has been hard on them. Sarevi taking his time with the penalty. He'll kick for a touch on the far side. Try and eat away more time. It's a good kick by Sarevi too. Here's the run by De Goldie wasn't an instant release so the throw in will come by the very accurate man Samuela Samai Sui so we're seeing time tick past 10 minutes now Fiji leading 21 to 14 they've played four epic contests in the circuit it's been 2-1 so far and now it's going to be two each and the try is scored by Silosi Naitenge. And that will be the match winner for Fiji. And why not celebrate? They've had a tremendous second half. Reaches right out. Slams it down, Keith. Look at the delight on their faces. Silosi and Tenge. So, 20... Six points to 14 with the kick to come. Let's put it in perspective. Not too many teams would come back from being 14 points down against a champion side like New Zealand. Gee, these two sides are going to have some great battles in the six remaining tournaments. The kick is, a, is a, away. We look to the referee. It is over. BG, after two tremendous days here in Mar del Plata, have won the sevens final over New Zealand by 26 to 14. The International Rugby Board circuit is locked up with New Zealand and Fiji equal top of the table as they now head to Wellington, New Zealand for Tournament 5 on the circuit. Penny Bayandraki is delighted. He's a winning coach again. He has tears in his eyes. His team has come back from a 42-19 dropping last week in Punta del Este to win by 26-14 to 14 here in Mar del Plata tonight.